try to share my screen. I'm not sure if you see it. Yes, we can Do see. You see? Okay, weird because I cannot see what I'm sharing. So I wanted to talk about two things. The first one is an issue I opened several weeks ago, which says that deprecated feature gates are considered as enabled. Um, every feature gate according to um, the deprecation policy is supposed to go to a, a list of deprecated feature gates. And this list, according to the QVR code, um, is considered enabled by default. For example, let's say that you have a feature that was not graduated to GA and it was decided that this feature is not good enough, then the deprecation policy, I think, doesn't make sense. Um, because if you deprecate it, it will be enabled by default. And the other point that I wanted to raise, I'm sorry that I'm doing it so fast because I need to drop soon, is uh, the removal of deprecated feature gates. Currently, I haven't found in the um, in the policies when is it allowed to remove a feature gate because feature gates are considered an API, and when is it okay to remove them after how much time or after how many versions? Okay. Uh... I can uh, comment about the second uh, subject, about the feature gates. What I understand, feature gates can be removed uh, eventually, but uh, yeah, we don't have uh, a matured formal uh, process for uh, deprecation. It's something that emerging now. And uh, I think this is a reason for uh, having this uh, SIG meetings for the API. <clears throat> we can uh, suggest something about uh, how to, how to what, what will be the process to, to remove feature gates. But uh, if you go to Kubernetes API uh, documents and uh, best practices, they say that which are, your your project should should be should enable removing feature gates. This is the the whole idea of having them in, in the first place. Any opinions on where is it okay to remove feature gates? To how many versions? After. How much time do we need to give a, a notice in the mailing list? What do you think? Um, it can be a, a release note. And if it's something uh, crucial, then you can uh, announce it on the mailing list, in my opinion. Well, this is the, the amount of people that uh, we have here is not enough to to really discuss it. But uh, I think in previous meeting we said that we need to formalize this and write the uh, write it in a, in a proposal. The, there is a, there are several proposal uh, on the fly. Some are public and some I think they are not yet public. So we need to we need to prepare them uh, to answer the the needed uh, the open issues. Yes, this was uh, raised in the community meeting. We said that we'll take it here on this meeting, but uh, very few people, uh, as you said, are present. So we can maybe create a little proposal of what we think should be the policy and raise it in the mailing list. What do you think? Well, we yes, have. but the problem is that we need to sync the existing documents. For example, uh, well, yeah. I, we need to, for example, I, 
All, this SIG itself started from this proposal that I posted here. And uh, there was a, it is not yet fully clear if we should uh, add it to there, which I think we should not, or we need to, to open something new. But we can add it as an action item to prepare something. Okay. Then, then the answer is yes. We you you can uh, propose uh, deprecation uh, policy, a proposal for deprecation deprecating uh, feature gates. I guess. No, it's not. It will not be like I. I don't think it. it uh, this attempt already already happened. Even it's it's still it's also there is a team that uh, worked on this deprecation thing in uh, on the side I would say, but it not did not uh, did not go anywhere. I think the problem was that the the topic is not the deprecation itself. That's no. that's the that's not the big big subject. The subject is the life cycle of features, not the application. But we can we can discuss it. Uh, we should discuss about it when we have more people, or or we, people can uh, we can discuss it on the Slack. That's also an option on the Slack channel. Okay, there are no uh, other notes in the agenda. Anyone wants to raise another subject? There were so, so there there were has been some specific uh, points, but I think it's not if if we don't have enough people to discuss it here, it's not a good time to do it. So I will not even start. Uh, maybe maybe like next week uh, let's try to send uh, to to do to send uh, to announce it a few days before and on the same day that uh, we want to discuss it uh, in this uh, meeting to to get more quorum for for discussing it and uh, getting get to the decisions. Yes, I think okay. I'll also raise it in the next uh, community meeting that there are some subjects that we want to discuss, but not enough people to discuss. Well, now about, I'm saying so. I'm saying that uh, we do have uh, Blue Boy and Jet here. I didn't see that before. If they think they can, if they are active here, then we can. I guess we can discuss it. What would we do like to discuss? I mean, I have 15 minutes, so. No, I think that, when... I think maybe the, the only, the only thing that we can maybe to edit as an action item is to work on, uh, to document uh, formally how, uh, what, how a feature gate will uh, disappear from, uh, or what are the, the rules of a feature when what happens when a feature is uh, feature gate is gone or uh, because it either passed uh, like the beta was cancelled or alpha was cancelled or the or it went to GA. Huh? I think that the action item is to write uh, in my opinion the action item is to write a, a policy uh, a life cycle feature life cycle proposal. That's it. Sounds good to me. Do we need to discuss anything right now? No, only after um, that uh, a skeleton. Oh, sorry. 
I just wanted to say uh, Hugo was not here when the call began, so I just raised the issue that Kubert uh, um, considers deprecated the feature gates as uh, always enabled. And the other subject was when is it okay to remove deprecated feature gates after how much time or after how many versions? Because right now we have at least two feature gates that are just not doing anything, which are non root and the PSA. Yeah, so it will be resolved when we write the, the post. Let's put it as an action item for uh, for the next call to have a skeleton or something written for that policy. Thank you. Any other topic for today? How much time do you have? Me? Just 40 minutes. Uh, 40 minutes, uh, a lot. Uh, <laughs> Depend on the topic. No, it's, uh, it's the topic, yes or no. They're just kidding. So, there, is a, there is one thing that uh, we wanted to raise. Um, Let's tr we can try it if if we see that uh, it's too long then we should drop it after five minutes uh, for for the net the networking part we have uh, you know we have this pasty binding right uh, it's uh it was it was protective with the feature gate because more or less it was uh, experimental uh and now Pasty is pretty mature and uh, um, in sense of uh, what Libvirt is providing uh, and, and it's already even a uh, part of uh, Podman, I think the default Podman uh, networking driver or something like that. But for uh, in the context of uh, Covert, it's, uh, we wanted to, I mean, we started with with implementing it in a in a different in the of in the correct way in Libvirt, but we want to to support it only through the network binding plugins, because at the moment, uh, it's not for now. It's not officially part of it, and we don't want at the moment. I mean, we have an interest to remove it from the core at this stage. Maybe it will get back in, but not now. So the topic is how we, not how, can we send, uh, send a message now and tell everyone that in the next version, the, the implementation will no longer be as today and the feature gate, you know, they cannot use the feature anymore, the binding in the current API. And uh, and they if they want to continue using it, they need to use the new the new API. And that's the que first question is can we do it for the next version already, like uh, one point two? And if not, uh, what do you, what version? How you think we should do? It? it is related to the policy, the lifecycle policy, but maybe it's it's at least this is specific, so we can discuss it in two minutes. That's it. Well, I would probably, I would probably keep a two versions of the deprecation notice and look for feedback for the past the binding, right? Because um, recently, I, I think we had uh, issues about past, right? 
Uh, so definitely there are some users out there using it. I think that's, I think that just, you know, trying to find these users and getting the feedback about the binding, if that works for them, uh, if there are no issues, you don't pay that much for it, right? Or is there an urgency for just uh, removing it in the next uh, release without any kind of deprecation? Uh... It's, the cost is that the, the, at least, as I say, the cost currently is that it is duplicated. That's the cost. Sure, but that doesn't require additional work from you, right? Uh, no, unless they will, the, as, as we see now, someone will open uh, the open issues and then we need to work on it. That's, that's, then it will be costly. And there is a, also an issue of ownership, but I, I mean, it's like it's just the or oh, the the cost of maintenance that, that's this is the cost of the one i guess in my i mean i have an opinion about it the, we also have alona that could not join now but alona prefers to to get it over with quickly but but i do agree that um, it makes sense to wait one version to and get feedback or we can send an email now and see what is the feedback. That's an, also an option. We can learn from I like that option. Mail is one option, but when you when you omit a warning message, hey, this is going to be removed, at least for one release, you get more feedback, in my opinion. Yes, there is like different users. There is the user that uh, takes the latest main head, and there are the user that takes the latest release. Okay, so I guess we got the the feedback, and I I think this this info also makes sense to embed this. Logic also in the life cycle policy. Let's see. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I would be for uh, like period of two releases for replication and that removal. Right, I don't see Now check this word proud and wearing proud. Okay, so we will uh, we'll send an email, and uh, we will. I think we should, uh, or I think we should send. I agree that I mean. I also think it sh we should wait one version. So, but we can. Add, so the how the how what is going to be in that uh, notification? We can talk about. Uh, yeah, I mean we we need to announce it. Uh, I think uh, when I what for what I understand when we say. We need to announce it, it should be regardless of uh, how much it will take, how many versions it will spread on. It's, uh, we need to announce the intention to do it, right? Oh, but you, what it's like you send an email and you are telling, you give them a notice when it will stay, what will happen. Okay. Makes sense, not to, not to send just an yeah, email, okay. we're going to duplicate it. Uh, in five years. Yeah, of <laughs> uh, this is the, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, what I had in mind is uh, 
say a few sentences about it and uh, link the proposal, the, the, the pull request proposal that will have all the details. This is what I have in mind. But uh, okay. I know, I, I recall that you, you or Alona, you, you, you have something else in mind. And that's a good. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, let's see. Do you think it's it's related to the life cycle, uh, with the feature life cycle policy? Let's say that you you decide to remove uh, to remove a feature. Okay. When you will add a feature, usually we will uh, prepare a, a a proposal. Right. There will be an enhancement proposal sent. But when we want to deprecate a feature. Should we have a proposal for each feature that we want to deprecate, or or should uh, if we have uh, the the lifecycle policy, we can just reference that policy and follow it. So we'll just announce it in an email or something like that, and that's it. What do you think? I like the second option. I don't want to to propose any deprecation that I want. I said also said earlier that uh, if it's uh, some well known to be used feature, we can announce it in a mailing list or some or uh, other uh, communication channels. But in general, I think that uh, such uh, deprecations should go in the release notes. Bobo, we have but a... uh, yeah, the idea that there is a policy that we agree on and follow it, and it will now uh, it's better, a better option. The policy makes sense. You don't need, don't need to discuss it anymore. Uh, I mean, so we will not need to have a, uh, uh, a, a proposal for the deprecation for each feature. Define proposal. Yeah, it's all better, yeah. <laughs> Define proposal, you send a PR with the, the why, the what, the how, into the, as like, like the enhancement one. And then people review it, and then they will uh, they agree to it, and and that's it. It's like a teardown. You have the setup when you want a new feature, and you have a teardown when you want to remove it. <laughs> well, I would at least I would expect uh, maintainers to agree uh, on the deprecation, right? Like it, yeah. It cannot be like anybody can just propose. Let's drop the. Let's drop this. Let's drop this. That that would be chaos. Yeah, but that's a PR of uh, of the real thing. The question is, should the discussion be done on an, on a proposal, or should the discussion be done through the emails, or should the discussion be done on a PR that actually removes it? The discussion on the policy should go in uh, in the PR, at least for to start with it. This is what I think. Then it's too late. You already removed it. Removed what? Which PR? No, I'm talking. You said you asked uh, if we want to have on the deprecation policy. Then uh, where where you where to discuss it? Is what you asked? No. But not exactly, no. I'm I'm asking if there should be a, a proposal for each feature that is going to be removed. Or there, there in a, like in a in the same context of when we create a new feature. Usually this is through enhancement uh, proposals. But we don't have to. I mean, I thought that someone will have you guys will have uh, explicit will have an opinion, and then. But if there is nothing, uh, you are not sure. Then we can we can put it on uh, on a discussion on the on the feature lifecycle policy. Okay. So I guess we are done. Anyone wants to add something? No.
Okay, so thanks. And see you next week, maybe. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.